Hello everyone. Welcome to today's explanation into the dynamic world of marketing. Today, we are setting our sights on a company in healthcare and consumer that has touched our lives in more ways than we have often realized, that is, Johnson's & Johnson's. But first, let us start with marketing. What is marketing? The American Marketing Association describes it as the activity and processes for creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging offerings that have value for customers and society. Founded in 1886, Johnson's & Johnson's began with producing sterile surgical supplies and hats, since expanded globally, introducing products like bandits, baby powder, etc. As a multinational corporation, it operates in over 60 countries with a strong presence on the New York Stock Exchange. The first concept that I would like to talk today is marketing environment. Philip Kotler defines it as internal and external factors affecting a company's ability to connect with its customers. Let's analyze GNJ's environment using SWOT analysis. Strengths, diversified portfolio, broad operation in pharmaceuticals, medical devices, and consumer health. Strong brand image, global recognition with products like Johnson's Baby, Tylenol, Clean and Clear. Research and development, significant investment in R&D for innovative products. Global presence, operations in 103 countries offering a vast consumer base. Weaknesses, product recalls. Issues with products, impacting brand press. For example, hip replacement recalls. Legal challenges, ongoing lawsuits related to talcum powder and opioid cases. Patent expiration, vulnerability to competition and pricing pressures, uneven revenue distribution. Roughly half of j, &J incomes comes from pharma, with 32% from immunology and reliance on few key products vulnerable to expirations. Opportunities. Aging population. Increased demand in healthcare from an aging global demographic. Technological advancement. Growth. Potential in um, digital health, telemedicine, and AI. Robotic surgical systems. Introduction of Ottawa signifies innovation and market expansion. Mergers and acquisition. Strategic expansions like the acquisition of Momenta Pharmaceuticals. Let's talk about threats. Intense competition. High competition from other healthcare giants like Pfizer. Regulatory hurdles. Global regulations in pharmaceuticals. Corporate spawnage, risks of data theft, including targeting of COVID-19 research. Government regulation, navigating diverse and changing drug regulations across countries. Implications, Johnson's & Johnson's strategy focuses on adapting to both internal and external factors, emphasizing continuous improvement in weak areas and potential threats. They utilize insightful decision-making for product development and market expansion. The company strategically allocates resources to strengthen key aspects and mitigate risk. The organization structure is agile, allowing swift responses to market and environmental changes. Moving to the next key topic of consumer behavior. According to Kotler 1994, consumer behavior is a study of how people buy, what they buy, when they buy, and why they buy. From quick choices to more thoughtful deliberations, Solomon categorizes them into three types. Cognitive behavior. j, &J advertisements and packaging provide detailed information, aiding consumers in making deliberate rational decisions through a series of evaluative stages before purchase. Habitual behavior. j, &J leverages habitual buying behavior patterns by strategically placing products for high visibility and accessibility in stores. Since most of our decisions are based on routine behaviors and past experiences. Affective behavior. The company connects emotionally with consumers through ads depicting caring moments and sharing impactful stories, patient testimonials and community contributions. Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Physiological needs. J&J addresses basic needs with products like pain relievers and bandits. Moving up to safety needs, they offer medical and surgical tools, ensuring health, security, and safety. Love and belonging. 
Baby products cater to nurturing and caring for loved ones, fostering feelings of love and belonging. Esteem needs. Beauty and premium products boost individual self-esteem and confidence. And finally, self-actualization. J&J's product range support personal growth and the pursuit of one's fullest potential. Johnson's & Johnson drives employee motivation through a secure and rewarding work culture that promotes growth, meet diverse health needs through targeted customer marketing, innovates products from basic to advanced healthcare, fosters a creative organizational culture and aligns CSR with fulfilling fundamental human needs and enhancing brand commitment. Johnson's & Johnson's demonstrates its commitment to CSR through its philanthropic efforts. The company has established a range of programs and initiatives to support various causes, including healthcare access, global public health, disaster relief, and environmental sustainability. Now, let's unravel the magic behind the marketing mix of j, &J a leader in health and wellness. Firstly, their product range is diverse, encompassing baby care, medical devices, consumer health products, and pharmaceuticals. This variety caters to a wide range of health needs. When it comes to pricing, j, j strikes a balance. Consumer products are competitively priced, focusing on quality and family health. Pharmaceuticals and medical devices due to their R&D costs are priced higher. Their play strategy involves multiple distribution channels, you will find their products in supermarkets, hospitals, clinics, and online, both directly and through third-party retailers. Promotion is multifaceted. They utilize traditional marketing methods like TV and print media alongside digital strategies such as social media and online ads. Public relations and corporate social responsibility initiatives also play a key role. The people behind GNG are key with leadership like Chairman and CEO Joe Kinduato and CFO Joseph J. Wok. J, J known for a supportive workplace, especially for working mothers. Their process involves a decentralized approach, encouraging innovation with an executive committee overseeing all the operations. Finally, physical evidence of their trustworthiness includes their New Jersey headquarters, strong online presence, and solid evidence like clinical trials and FDA approvals. In short, Johnson's & Johnson's approach to pricing balances affordability with the need to recoup R&D investments. Their organizational agility and brand trust hinges on decentralized approach that quickly turns market insights into very beautiful products by physical evidence like their headquarters and online presence to build trust and ensure compliance. They employ customer-centric pricing, adding value while staying competitive. Their adaptability is showcased in a diversified portfolio that meets evolving consumer health needs. Lastly, the company acknowledges the significant impact of leadership on shaping companies' cultures. The key benefit of Johnson's & Johnson's partnership and collaboration is the ability to tap into new ideas and perspectives. By working with external partners, the company can access cutting-edge research, technologies, and innovation that it may not have developed in-house. For example, the company has partnered with the Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority to develop a vaccine for COVID-19, leveraging the expertise and resources to accelerate the development process. Recommendations for JNJ. As we conclude, I recommend that JNJ employs AI-powered marketing analysis for real-time market insights. They could explore AR platforms for virtual product experiences, customize products, based on individual assessments, adopt dynamic pricing, create pop-up experience centers, and launch gamified health campaigns. It's just a thought. Thank you for joining this detailed walkthrough of Johnson's & Johnson's marketing dynamics. I hope this vlog has provided you with valuable insights into the marketing.